Hi guys, uh, Thompson here. Welcome to the Morphic Design Reptile page. This is not a reptile video. I want to talk to you about something that is not very easy for me to talk about, but I feel that it's important. Um, some of you who know me personally, you might know or maybe noticed or maybe I've told you there's not many people I have told but um I am slightly autistic and this is not something that's easy for me to talk to it's not something that's been easy on me um it's been a struggle my entire life um, I didn't really even know that I was autistic until in my early 20s. I just, you know, I, didn't, I don't, sorry. Um, it's a hard thing to talk about for me. Um, I want to say is, you know, people with autism, like myself, we have trouble communicating things, um, we're wired differently than others, we may not always understand things as easily as others, it might take us a while to get us Get, get something even if you're being think you're being bluntly honest with us um, it may not be bluntly to us it, and I don't want you guys you know if you have people with autism in your life whether it's slight or severe um, I don't want you guys to think that we're not understanding you, we're not trying to understand you, or we're not listening to you, because that's not the case we are, it's just, it's very difficult for us. Um, we tend to keep, you know, to ourselves and let very few people in, because you know, especially in like my case where it's a slight autism, I try to keep people at a certain distance so that, you know, they won't notice my autism, but I'm sure you guys may have picked, some of you guys may have picked up on it in my other videos with the way how I talk and communicate with you. Um, but we try to keep people, at least I do, at a certain distance because, you know, we feel, or I feel, that a lot of times people won't understand or accept us or they'll look down on us or treat us differently because of it. Because that's how it's been our whole lives. We're, we're used to it. We're programmed that way just from experience. Um, but just know that if an autistic person does let you in, let you get close. Know that you're somebody very special to them and just have patience with them. Um, I know that what I, all I'm trying to say isn't going to come out right again. I, I, Communication is sometimes very hard for me, especially when it's a difficult topic like this. Um, a lot of people think that people with autism autism doesn't don't have emotions or don't feel things, and that's simply not true. We definitely do. We just have a very difficult time expressing them. Um, and showing them and 
this thing that I can tell you is if you do have somebody in your life with autism and just be patient with them be as understanding as you can be I know it I know it's probably not easy always um, having somebody in your life that does have autism or is artistic um, and you know some of us with autism were nonverbal completely and it's I can't even imagine what th that would be like um, but again just be patient with them and try to understand and try to help them understand what you're meaning uh, like I said you could be, be think you're being very blunt with them about something and they're still not getting it or understanding it it's not that they're not trying believe me they are trying to understand and it just takes us a while it can take us a lot longer than it should sometimes doesn't mean we're stupid, we're just, we're wired differently. And, you know, like, I guess, like, people with autism, we want the same things that everybody else wants. We want to be loved and accepted for who we are. And a lot of times that's not the case. And like I said, we have a hard time communicating or expressing things and showing things. We don't mean to cause the people in our lives extra stress by being that way. It's just how we are. It's not an easy thing to deal with on either side, whether you have autism or you just have somebody in your life that has autism. Um, it's not all bad, you know. I do have good days and whatnot. But there are days, you know, even, I know a lot of you guys out there with autism, you probably have days a lot of days just like I do where there's a lot of days where I just ask God you know why, why would you do this to me why would you make me like this why, why would you make things so much harder for me you know and I just want you guys to know you're not alone you're not the only one feeling like that And I also want you guys to know, you know, I wondered for a long time before I found out that I was autistic and figured stuff out about that, you know, I wondered for a long time what was wrong with me, you know? Why didn't I get things like everybody else got? Why didn't I understand when I should? It's something that should be so easy for me to understand, but for some reason I have trouble with it. Um, but the important thing to remember is if you are a person with autism, whether you've been diagnosed or not, um, there isn't anything wrong with you. And it's hard to feel that some days I know, trust me, I, 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 it's real hard, but just know you're not alone. And to those people who just have people in their life that have autism, and you know, whether they know it or not, whether you know it or not, and you know, you're patient with them, and you don't give up on them 
even if they can't express that to you, well, on behalf of them, I, I just want you to know, for those of you like that, that don't give up on us and are patient with us, even if we can't always express it or show it, we appreciate it. And it means the world to us. And I thank you for that on their behalf. And also thank you to the people in my life that have been patient with me. And while there's very few of them, you know who you are. You've been patient with me and stuck around. And just Sorry, it's a very, like I said, a very difficult thing for me to express and communicate on. But, you know, we just want to be loved and accepted like everybody else is. We didn't ask to be this way. We certainly don't enjoy it. Um, it is manageable, you know. Some days are tougher than others. But, again, I can't stress this enough. When you're communicating or trying to communicate something to somebody with autism, whether it's slight or severe, whether they're verbal or non-verbal, verbal, even if you think you're being bluntly clear with them, to them you may not be. We're just wired differently. We see things differently sometimes and than other people do. And it's, it's a struggle. And I'm just, guys, yeah, try to be more patient with us and That's the best thing you can do is just try to be patient when you have somebody in your life that has autism. They don't mean to cause you extra stress or by not understanding or understanding differently or whatever the issue may be that they're having or you're having with them. D don't think they're not trying to understand because... We are. We're hearing you. We're listening to you. Don't think they're not listening to you because they are. They're trying to understand, I can assure you. It, it's just very hard for us. I, I'm sure, you know, as I said, my communication skills aren't always the best, especially on a topic like this that's very hard for me to talk about. But, and I'm sure, you know, this video, there was so much I wanted to say and communicate and express, and I'm sure, you know, it didn't all come out how I wanted it to, or sound how I wanted it to, or whatever, you know. And I'm sure I left some stuff out that I, you know, a certain way I left stuff out. Sorry, I trip over my words a lot when I'm talking about something that's very hard for me to talk about. Um, I'm sure I left stuff out or I'm sure I didn't say things quite the way I had planned. But in any case, whether you're a person with autism or just a person that have a person or people in your life with autism, I, I, I hope you can understand what I'm trying to say. And anybody out there with autism that, you know, don't have many people in their lives, you know, that they can communicate well with. Um, I'm always here. You can always reach out to me through my Morphic Design Reptiles page or even my 
personal Facebook page, Thompson Harkins. If you just need somebody to talk to or listen to you, I'm here. You're not alone. Also, if you're someone who is having trouble, I don't want to say dealing with someone with autism, but I don't really know how else to say it. But if you have somebody in your life that has autism and, you know, you're struggling with interacting with them or whatever it might be, reach out to me. I'll, I'll, I'll try to help you if I can. Um, or, you know, there's other lines of places out there that can help organizations and such but having autism is a very can be a very frustrating thing and it's very frustrating for a person even if they can't express it with autism it's very frustrating when you know we get into situations where we can't understand something or we're trying to make sense of something and for some reason, it's just not clicking. We're just wired differently, you know? Doesn't Again, it doesn't mean we're stupid or anything like that. We're just wired differently. We are trying to understand. We're trying to make sense of things. And oftentimes, you know, we do get frustrated and we don't always deal with that well either. We don't... We just want to be like everybody else, you know? We want to be treated the same way as everybody else and accepted and loved just like anybody else does. You know? I'm not sure really what more I can say here to make it sound how I wanted to say it. I'm sure the video is going to seem kind of jumbled and whatnot. Um, I hope you're able to make some sense of it, whether you're somebody with autism or just have people or a person in your life with autism, and I hope it helps you understand each other a little more. And the best thing to do is just have patience whether you're a person with autism or a person that has a person with autism in your life. Um, there's many different, you know, many people have different forms of autism. It affects everybody differently. Um, like I said, there's a lot of people with autism. Sorry, your phone fell. There's a lot of people with autism, you know, that are nonverbal. There's a, a lot of us that are verbal, but that's not just the only way it affects us, you know, like the communication skills, um, the comprehending and understanding. That's not the only way it can affect us. It can affect us in many other ways as well. For instance, like, again, I have trouble with communicating and comprehending and understanding sometimes, but I also don't like, like, large crowds of people. I, I, I don't really understand why I don't, but I don't. I just, you know, I don't like being super large crowds and, like, super loud noises I don't like. Just, um, I also, I don't like when water touches my skin. I don't like, or anything wet. I don't like the feeling of it. But, I mean, of course I still shower and stuff because, you know, I have to. Uh, force myself to. Um, I've got, that, that's gotten something that's gotten easier for me to do over the years. Um, is force myself to do that. And I'm trying to force myself, you know, 
open up more to people. And that's why I'm making this video and just to help spread awareness and do what I can to help <sighs> spread awareness. Um, and yes, I don't really, I'm sure this, like I said, didn't come out quite the way I had, had it in my head and whatnot. And I'm, I just hope you guys can make some sense of it. And I hope you take something away. Autism is not a negative thing. Um, it doesn't mean there's something wrong with us. We're just different. We're just wired differently. Um, it can be difficult. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's a negative thing. It's just, uh, you know, it's all a learning process. Whether you have autism or somebody in your life has autism. It's a learning process on both ends. Um, but just the most important thing is patience and understanding. Just try to understand. That's all. Try to have patience with us. We're people just like you. You know? But we do... We do feel things. Sometimes maybe more than you guys without autism feel things. We just can't always express it. It's not easy for us. It's difficult. We don't always know why it's difficult or why it's hard for us to talk about something or communicate something or express something. We don't know. I don't know why sometimes it's hard for me to understand certain things, even though... You know, somebody might be telling me something and they think they're being perfectly clear and that somebody should be able to understand it like that. I, I don't always. And I don't know why. It's just the way autism works. I do try to understand. I do. So, and I do eventually usually get things. It just takes me a little longer. Or sometimes a lot longer than most. But, um, thank you guys for stopping by. And hopefully you took something positive away from this message. And, uh, please like, share the video, subscribe, and please help spread the message of awareness and... Hopefully this video does someone out there some good. You never know. Thank you.